The way that I grew up making art was like everything was sort of fused together. The way that things are united is through like a sort of sense of like assemblage and, and kind of collage. I guess it's sort of like approaching everything in a sort of amateur way, like the way somebody would want to say like they loved a band or something and they're like, I love that band so much that I just want to like go and make my own homemade t-shirt. That sort of amateur infatuation. You have a sense of that feeling and you have to kind of like put that somewhere, embed it into an object. I guess that's the kind of like way in which I approach making things because it kind of just comes, like that feeling comes to me like, oh, I have to sort of start manifesting all of these different things, like these different experiences. Women, they nurture society and I think I feel that role like quite intrinsically. So sometimes for me, I just feel like I don't have any help. You know, it's like I'm helping everyone else, but I don't really have any help. A prize like this, it's like you have the support. You finally have people who are like, you just do you and like we'll help you do that. You don't have to like worry about every other thing in the world and making that work. This is like for you and we're going to help you with that. I'm really interested in form and I'm really interested in language. Cold steel and sunken lives, bubbling, lashing, I can't breathe. The work I suppose that I'm interested in making is about this interspace between the personal, the political and the poetic. We all feel and share kind of universal experiences, I guess. But what's really key is, is who gets to express them, say them, voice them. And that's one of the things that I would like to explore and also kind of shift and change. So that, that's something that I'm really interested in is that there is something that's universal, but it's also about how that's expressed and who expresses it. And the cane was crushed, squeezed dry and lifeless in the British made iron press. As an emerging artist who's over 40, who is black, who's a woman, it sometimes feels that windows are opaque, that they're ajar, but often not fully open. And so there's something about this prize that's trying to enable you to see, as an artist to see, to look out, but also to be seen. Our own lived experience tells us that this prize is, is really necessary. And so for me, I, I value the prize being a prize for women artists because I think it's about the necessity that we have at the moment. I'm Eloise. I work out of my studio at Somerset House on the Strand in central London. And I work predominantly with found and researched objects that are produced in the disciplines of medical science, civil or infrastructural engineering, and prototypes, in which a, a, a level of precision is necessarily involved in how they are made and that explain a particular type of knowledge. Things really reward you when, you when you do look at them and pursue them and that idea has never really faltered for me and everything is kind of possessed of like a deeper or conflicting or, or other set of variables. I think it's incredibly important to have a prize that celebrates women in the art world. I don't think that we have come so far that we can be complacent about the need to take 
affirmative action for, for women and also for other underrepresented groups in the art world. On a personal level, I also really like the idea of developing a proposal for a woman's art prize and, and the emphasis that this necessarily will mean in terms of me thinking about my femininity at the, at the outset of creating a proposal for this prize and my experience as a woman navigating the art world. My practice is committed to looking at how our encounter with the world in general comes through relying on it, counting on very numerous things that I would call structures of support. The way that contemporary art is presented still has inherited this notion that there is a sort of ideal audience that it's presenting to. This ideal audience is white, male, intelligent, educated. It's not a child who wants to touch everything. It is not somebody who will perhaps have a nap in the corner or have a sandwich, right? So what's appropriate and not appropriate in this place of culture is very, very defined. And I'm interested in opening that up in order to include perhaps other ways of encountering culture. There's not that many prizes for women, but there are some, which means that there's already quite a lot of people who are working on trying to fix a little bit the problem of stark inequality between men and women in the art world, which of course is getting better, but it's still not equal. In an ideal world, the quality of the work is such that you wouldn't even need to mention whether it's a woman or not a woman, but it needs a bit of work. Everybody needs to work a little bit before that is actually possible. I begin with a question. Are histories inevitably fiction? If I was ever asked what is your work about, I could say inequity certainly provides motivation, remembering that the telling and retelling probably outstrip the work itself. The echo replaces the voice. Thinking backwards, Dresden Dynamo is a film made without a camera or any audio recording. The image makes the sound. The sound is the image. Like music, a composition in noise, a notation of lines and the intervals between, was prompted by the continual lack of recognition of women composers, a problem still exercising young women composers today. In the making of Light Reading, 1978, the connections become apparent between language and violence. But circles which we set up in 1981 to distribute women's work in performance, film and video is still flourishing as Cine Nova, thanks to the unpaid work of many women. My practice is preoccupied with this part whole relation and procedural thinking that would allow for growth and decay and for me to observe that growth and decay. But using linguistic material and found imagery 
and mirroring that with actual real substances. It becomes form, it becomes texture, and it becomes layered over many things that I know are a part of me, but are not at the same time. Well, this is a great opportunity. I mean, I'm really happy and quite surprised. And it is really important that, you know, until women have the same footing, I mean, these things are really building towards that. And, but for me personally, beyond the kind of wider understanding of the prize, it's really incredible because I guess it's an opportunity to kind of expose a practice that wouldn't normally be seen.